This is only a very, very short vlog about an amplifier that I published on YouTube quite a long time ago. I will surely give the link in the description, but now I'm testing it. And regarding looking back at my earlier videos about Bass Boost amplifiers, this one and this one, my ID is well, Bass Boost. My ID is to use it as a only Bass Boost amplifier. So that's a reason why I'm testing it at the moment. Uh, when we are talking about Bass Boost, uh, there must be, say, a substantial current flow into the loudspeakers. Um, on the other hand, I want to say all my circuits that I publish are made for household uh, situations. In a living room, etc., etc., no pure power amplifiers. And when you want to um, make pure power amplifiers, 100 watt, 1000 watt, etc., etc., um, don't go to my YouTube channel, the maximum uh, output uh, that I uh, output level that I've published in all my videos is around 10 watt, perhaps 20 watt. Um, there's also a big discussion. What does that mean? What does what mean? Anyway, uh, say I have uh, made this audio amp somewhat more neat. Uh, in the earlier video it was purely experimental, now it's definite. And I'm testing it with my homebrew sine wave generator. We are now on uh, the range of 6.6 .6 kilo cycles up to 33 kilo cycles. So let's see what happens. This is the waveform. Of course, uh, this is a sine wave generator, but when you overdrive an audio amplifier, you will surely see at the end. So in this case, parallel to the lamp, and that lamp is also not an ideal um, load. The real load, uh, when you test an audio amplifier, is in fact a coil in a magnetic field, in a very fierce magnetic field, by the way. So there is inductance, capacitance, uh, resistance, and such a lamp only has, say, uh, resistance. It doesn't have capacitance, it doesn't have inductance, etc., etc., but anyway, it's useful to, say, try to find out the maximum um, energy that such an audio amplifier can give. Furthermore, uh, that any audio amplifier can give. You can also use such a power resistor here. Oh, this is 47 um, ohms. Such a lamp, the, the resistance of such a lamp depends whether the lamp is hot or whether the filament is cold. Anyway, also a thing to take in account, but uh, whatever that all may be, 30 volt is now uh, uh, sent to the amplifier, 1 ampere is now sent to the amplifier. That means that somewhere in this circuit, 30 watt is dissipated. A part will be in the antisistors, they don't get warm, by the way, anyway, uh, a part perhaps in the driver. No, the driver and the scissors are cool. And the first driver is also cool. So, that is more or less all to tell. Well, perhaps interesting to show uh, the different frequencies and related to the current that such an amplifier takes. Now we are on approximately 
33 kilo cycles. Well, this is 33 kilo cycles, by the way. This is, by the way, the frequency, the waveform that is sent into the amp. No, sorry. It is the waveform at the end of the amplifier, so parallel to the lamp. Anyway, 33, 30 volts, approximately 1 ampere. Switch my sine wave generator one frequency back. Now we are here. Uh, so this is this was the first ID. This is the second ID. Again, approximately one ampere at 30 volts. That gives a very very good indication about the properties of such an amplifier. Uh, one frequency band lower, we are on 3, that is 383 up to 1.9 uh, kilohertz. What's the waveform? Well, perfect. Perfect square wave. Of course, such a square wave overrides all the properties of such an amplifier. Anyway, it works. And well, also this two that means we are in the 39 Hertz up to 200 Hertz frequency band kind of distortion here anyway more info in other videos on my YouTube channel now we are on the lowest frequency that is one and that's 4 Hertz up to 19 Hertz of course a completely distorted waveform, completely logical. It's not made for that frequency band and you can also see that lamp flicker. Also logical. So this is a very short demo, it's a vlog. And my idea is to use this amplifier as a pure Pass boost amplifier. So let's go to the higher frequencies. Say again to the highest frequency. Say let's go to uh, 20 kilohertz. That must be here approximately. This must be approximately 20 kilohertz. Of course, okay can say uh, connect my frequency counter I don't do that yeah, not very interesting for such a vlog thanks for watching I appreciate it and well I hope to uh, do more with this audio amp <laughs>